In this video, we're going to look at how we can describe regions on graphs, on Cartesian graphs, using inequalities. So let's jump straight into some examples. In this one, we're shown a graph, and in all the examples that we're going to do, we're going to describe the unshaded region. Sometimes you're asked to describe the shaded region, sometimes the unshaded. So, we're, But we're always in these questions going to look at the unshaded region. The process is much the same for shaded regions. You just need to be a bit careful about which one it is. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at this line here that marks the boundary of the shaded and unshaded regions. And we're going to give that the equation of that line. And that line goes through this point here, minus 2 on the x-axis, so that line is x equals minus 2. Now we want the unshaded region, so that's that, this bit over here, and this bit over here is all the points that are this side of that line. So we want to be going this way of x equals minus 2. And these values here are all bigger than minus 2. So our inequality is x is bigger than minus 2. The last thing we should note is that this is a dashed line going down here. And because it's a dashed line, this is x is bigger than minus 2. It doesn't have, it doesn't have that extra bit there. So we don't have that bit there. There is no line there. Let's have a look at the next example now. This second example is very similar. The first thing we're going to do in describing the unshaded region is give the equation of the line. This time, it goes through 1 on the y-axis, so it is y equals 1. We want the unshaded, that's this bit down here, and that is all the y values that are less than 1. So we have y is less than 1. This time, though, the line is not dashed. It's a solid line. So we have less than or equal to 1. So this one, this unshaded region here, is y is less than or equal to 1. In this third example, we have two lines that we have to use. And once again, we are describing the unshaded region up here this time. We start in the same way, we give the equations of the lines. So this vertical line goes through x at 1. So this is x equals 1. And the horizontal line goes through y at minus 1. So it's y equals minus 1. Now, we want the area that is this way compared to that line, and that way compared to that line. So looking at the first one, it's all the values that are bigger than 1. So it's x is bigger than 1. And that vertical line is solid, so it's bigger than or equal to 1. Looking this way, we want all the y values that are bigger than that line, so they're above that line. So we want the y values which are bigger than minus 1. But that one was a dashed line, so we don't have the equals part to our inequality. In this next example, we again have a region bounded by two lines. So again, the first thing we do is find the equations of the lines. This first one over here goes through 3 on the x-axis. So it's x equals 3, and this one goes through a minus a half on the x-axis. So it's x equals minus a half, or minus 0 0.5. We want our region to be bigger than this value, because it needs to be that side of that value, but smaller than that value. So it's above the minus a half, 
but below the 3. So we have x is bigger than or equal to minus a half because it's a solid line. x is less than 3 because it's a dashed line. But actually we can rewrite this one as a single inequality. We have x is less than 3 bigger than or equal to minus a half. And the reason we can do that is because we're given one region here, one region bounded by two x's. x equals 3 and x equals minus a half. So we can write it like this. In this example, we have a region in the middle here between four lines. So we need to find all four lines. This one, vertical one down here, is x equals 3 as it goes through 3 on the x-axis. This vertical one goes through minus 2 on the x-axis, so it's x equals minus 2. This one goes through 3 on the y-axis, so it's y equals 3. This one goes through 1 on the y-axis, so it's y equals 1. Now we need to combine these to find the region we want, where we want it to be below that line, but above that line, less than that line, but bigger than that one. So putting that together, we have it's bigger than the minus 2. So x is bigger than minus 2. It's less than 3. So x is less than or equal to 3. Now the y's, it's less than this one. It's below that, so it's less than 3. So y is less than or equal to 3. And finally, this one, it's above that, so it's above that one. So we have y is bigger than 1. Again, like in the previous example, we can put these together. We have x is less than or equal to 3 is bigger than minus 2 and we have y is less than or equal to 3 is bigger than 1 so our final answer is those inequalities describe the region, the unshaded region in here this one we have a slope line rather than a vertical or horizontal line. But the process is exactly the same to start with. We need to know the equation of this line. Now we notice that this line has a gradient of goes up by 1 and across by 1, so it has a gradient of 1. And also it goes through the y-intercept there so the y-intercept is equal to 1 as well. So the gradient is 1 and the y-intercept is 1. Now we can use our formula y equals mx plus c where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. So the formula for this one the equation for this line is y equals 1x, or just x, plus the y-intercept is 1. So this is y equals x plus 1 is our equation for this line. Now, we need to work out this region here, how that affects the sign. So what we do is we pick a point, any point, in the region we want. So we're going to pick this point here. And that has coordinates 2, 1. And what we do is we write our equation y, x plus 1, but without the symbol in here. We don't know which symbol we want to put in. And now we substitute in these values from a point in the region we want. So the y value is 1, the x value is 2, and then we have plus 1. So we have 1 and 3. And now we put in the sign that fits between them. Well, 3 
is bigger than 1, or 1 is less than 3, and then we go up all the way until we get back to the equation 1. And now we have our inequality, y is less than x plus 1. This example again has a sloping line, so we're going to look at the gradient, triangle there for the gradient. The gradient is equal to, it goes up 2 and across 1, so it's 2 over 1, but because it's sloping in the other direction, in the downwards direction, the gradient is minus 2. The y-intercept is where it goes through the y axis which is there which is 2 so this line has equation y equals minus 2x plus 2 minus 2 from the gradient plus 2 from the y-intercept we could also have written that as y plus 2x equals 2 but we're going to leave it like that y minus equals minus 2x plus 2 now we write the equation down but without a symbol so y minus 2x plus 2 and we pick a point any point in the region that we want this one has coordinates 2 3 we substitute those into our equation so y is 3 we have minus 2 times 2 plus 2 so we get 3 minus 4 plus 2, so 3 minus 2. And now we put in the symbol that goes with it, or well, 3 is bigger than minus 2, so it's bigger, bigger, bigger. So our inequality is y is bigger than, but it's a solid line, so it's y is bigger than or equal to minus 2x plus 2. In this final example, we're putting together everything we've seen so far to find this triangular region in here, which is bounded by three lines. So first we need to write down the equations of the lines. We have the vertical one goes through 3 on the x-axis, so it's x equals 3. The horizontal one goes through 2 on the y-axis, so it's y equals 2 and the slopey one has a gradient of minus 2 and goes through 2 so it's y equals minus 2x plus 2 now we want the region that is that side of that one that side of that one and that side of the slopey line so, we want this side of the vertical lines, we want it to be less than that. So we have x is less than 3. We want below the horizontal line, so we want y is less than or equal to 2. Finally, we want to check a point in our region that we want, so we're going to pick that one there. My, uh, that's not minus 1, sorry, that's 1 and 1. 1 and 1 is the coordinates of that point. So we have y minus 2x plus 2. So we substitute in 1, we get 1 minus 2 plus 2. 1 and 0. 1 is bigger, bigger, bigger. So our final answer is these three inequalities. Again, that one should be equal to because it's a solid line. So to, to describe regions using inequalities, we have to find the, in, the equations of the lines that bound the regions and then decide whether we need the values to be bigger than or less than in each instance. For vertical and horizontal ones, we can just decide whether it's to the left, right, up or down, whether it's bigger or smaller. 
for diagonal or slopey lines like this one, we have to pick a point, substitute in the coordinate into the values of the inequality, and then choose the sign that works for that point.